Father and our God. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for another going church Christmas, Lord. We thank you for the day of people. And Father, we thank you for the word that has been prepared. We pray that it will be sent out and it will do as you sent it out to do. We pray that you will just be with us, Lord, as we go throughout this day. We'll be able to give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. For us in your son, Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So Bishop and First Lady Copeland, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Amen. I will not take it like that. To all the men and ministers present here on today, thank God for you. And to the Valley Grove Church family, I'm very grateful for you as well. Bishop, over the last couple of years, I've been able to go across town and speak at some other places, and I found out that there is no place like home. That is no way to preach the field of you that you don't want to do it. I'm forever grateful for each and every one of you. There is a word from the Lord today, and it is found in the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11. And we're going to begin reading at verse 13. Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 13 is what we will begin. And it reads, And it shall come to pass, if ye shall hearken diligently unto my commandments, which I command you this day to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. That I will give you the rain of your land. In his due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn, and thy wine, and thy wool. Verse 15, And I will send the grass in thy fields for thy cattle, that thou may eatest and be full. I want to read verse number 14 one more time. That I will give you the rain of your land in his do season. The first rain and the latter rain that thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thy oil. I want to lift up the thought this morning. It will all pay off. It will all pay off. Will you say that with me? It will all Pay off. Now I want you to say it like you mean it. It will all pay off. Not some of it, but everything that you do for the Lord, it will pay off. Uh, our author this morning, the book of Deuteronomy, was mainly written by the prophet Moses until his death and the ending of Deuteronomy was believed by many scholars to have been finished by Joshua. His purpose was to remind the people of, people of what God has done and to encourage them to rededicate their lives back to the Lord. And his audience was Israel, which was the new generation entering the Promised Land. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy was written around 1407 B.C. Uh, I will this morning Moses, who was a Hebrew prophet that believed that, 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 that delivered the Israelites from the Egyptian slavery. Uh, Moses was their leader and their lawgiver during their times during the years of wandering in the wilderness. 
Anytime you are in the wilderness, it is good for you to have a good leader with a vision to get you out of what you're going through. Moses' uh, leadership was so inspired by God that he built a united nation from a race of oppression and weary slaves. Uh, Moses founded the religious group known as Israel during the covenant ceremony at Mount Sinai where the Ten Commandments were given. Moses' life was divided into three major parts. Forty years in Egypt, uh, 40 years in the land of Midian, and 40 years in the wilderness. Moses is very important because he prepared the believers for Jesus the Christ. Uh, when Moses promised, it was fulfilled by Jesus himself. All right. uh, the book of uh, Deuteronomy has many different things that the writer wants people to see. Uh -huh. Amen. One of the things this morning was history. Somebody shout history. Yes. Moses reflected on the mighty acts of God where he delivered Israel from slavery in Egypt. Another thing this morning is love. Somebody shout love. love. Come on, say it like you mean it. Shout love. love. God shows us love by being faithful to his people and to his promises. How many know that God will never, ever let you pass? See, even though you may put your trust in men and women, men and women will let you down. But I come to tell you this morning, you should have your ultimate trust in the Lord. Because he will never, he will never let you down. The last thing I want to bring to your attention this morning is choices. Somebody shout choices. In life, we all have choices that we will have to make. Some are bigger than others, but we all will have choices. The choice that you decide to make will make a difference in your life. Whether it's good or bad, it will have a total effect in your life. All right. Choosing to follow God benefits us and improves us as a whole. We shall never, we should never abandon God. Many people have somewhat forgot about God and His power. All right. We as people have allowed the year of 2020 as a whole to forget about God. Uh, we have allowed uh, Donald Trump uh, to make us lose our focus on God. We have allowed coronavirus to lose our focus on God. We have allowed being quarantined to lose our focus on God. We have allowed working from home to lose our focus. We have allowed lost loved ones to take our focus on God and our son. But I came to declare this morning that this year is the year that you will reconnect some relationships that you may have lost with God along the way. Amen. Down through the years, the Lord has been good. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to us. You might as well get with me this morning. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to us. If you made it this far, the Lord has certainly been good to you this morning. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to us. Some of us was on the bottom, and somehow God made tables turn and never on the top. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to us. I don't know about some of y'all this morning, but I got too much to praise God. God has brought me through too much. to feel vulnerable because they have been doing everything the right way. They may have faith, they have been doing everything the 
the right way and still have not seen any changes. All right. But I come to tell you this morning to keep pressing on. I come to tell you today that whatever you have been doing for the Lord, it will pay off. Pay off. Amen. Do not get weary in well doing because for in due season we shall reap. Come on, y'all hear me. We shall reap in the faith. This morning, I'm going to grow. When God gets ready to bless you, people of God, He's going to bless you in a tailor made way. Oh, uh, Bishop, I can't afford tailor made suits just yet, but I'm pretty sure Bishop has a few of you now. <laughs> and when you have a tailor made suit, that tailor made suit can only fit that person that it will be. See, if you need it, I may be able to wear Bishop's size. Church, you have to walk alone. 
This is not the end of your story. Right. I come to tell you this morning, people of God, that God is getting ready to take you to another level in your life. Uh, this is only a continuation of what God is able to do through you. He's getting ready uh, to let you see some things uh, that you would have never even imagined. Uh, because uh, if you are a true believer of Christ, you know uh, that we walk uh, by faith.
and I wasn't spiritually led. And I said that earlier that I was going to do it, but it, it takes a spirit in an individual to do it. It don't come easy. It's pressurized. So, y'all, thank God for Dr. Martin King, his legacy, his journey. And he said to all of us, we have a right to dream. Dreams do come true if you keep pressing forward. When you get your offering, your dedication of self and self, so you get that in your hand. And once you get that, will you stand for the prayer of blessing for the offering? Then the basket is at the door as you exit. Where as you place your gift in the basket. Shall we pray? Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. We come right down to see for this opportunity. Thank you for this worship experience. Thank you, God, for the presence of your people. We thank you for the participation of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for this young man, Mr. Porter, who poured out his heart in trying to share our word. Lord, we know it every time, God, because it fell on my ear and I heard it with us says you. It'll pay off. We know it'll pay off. Suffering pays off. Loneliness pays off. Sometimes I feel forgotten, but it pays off. Said so we've been laying low for a night. But joy comes in the morning. And as we pray, we thank you for the gifts of offering. For every hand and every heart that participated in the giving, we pray, Lord, that it be beneficial to all of us. Casting out bread upon the water, knowing that after many days it shall return. Thank you. Thank you. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, would rest and rule with us. It's more than forevermore than the people of God said.